Hey, God bless you. God bless you on this terrific Tuesday. Just want to encourage you today that your God will supply your every need according to his riches and glory. And he will give you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding according to his plan for our lives. Sometimes we try to make plans for ourselves, but our plans are not his plans and our ways are not his ways. But when we come into right relationship with him and when we continue to communicate with him and collaborate with him cooperate him he does download some information some wisdom some insight some revelation on how we can live successful and pleasing unto him and also be a blessing to others in our family, our friends, in our neighborhood, in our community. The Bible says in Matthew 6, verse number 19, it says, Lay not uh, up for yourselves treasures upon the earth where moth and rust do corrupt. It's just saying that those things that you feel like are valuable and, and that you desire to possess all the time, it's a temporary thing. It's not going to last forever. And he says, because thieves will break in and steal. You know, the enemy's job is to steal, kill, and destroy. But God came to give us life in that more abundantly. And that abundant life starts with our yielding to him and seeking him and becoming one with him and agreeing with him and surrendering to him amen and giving our life to him the bible says in verse number 20 lay up for yourself treasures in heaven where neither rust nor moth can corrupt and where thieves can't come in there and break in because where your treasure is verse number 21 that's where you be your that's where your heart will be also and i've just got through watching the first season of squid games it's a very very uh i think it's 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 preaches to me it was preaching to me and it was just showing me how uh vulnerable we can get if we are not wise and how we're living and we begin to put priorities on the things that are temporary and 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 trying to keep up with the joneses come on somebody i'm sorry about the the uh, video because it's it's real sunny over here and I, I think it's kind of blurry but we get so caught up with trying to please the Joneses we're, we're trying to 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 keep up with the Joneses or we're trying to 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 uh, focus on the things that we can possess and it's so important for us to realize that it's not about those things that we can comp that we can possess that are important but only those things that God releases into our life and how we can be good stewards it you know that we shouldn't focus on those material things and 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 to be good stewards of the things that God has the uh, the people that were vulnerable and that were getting killed and all this other stuff that was happening to them was because the position they were in was a vulnerable position they were slaves to debt that's what uh, that's what they became slaves to debt they had a poverty mentality and they just did not come to the realization of neither being satisfied for what they had. They were pursuing things with the wrong attitude and they got themselves into debt to a position that they became desperate and the enemy used their desperation to put him put them in positions to lose their life and that's what the enemy will do. They will the enemy will put you in positions for you to lose your life, your livelihood, your love, and all those things that God has placed in your life to be a blessing to you. And and uh, the, the Lord wants us to be smart when it comes to debt. He wants us to, to be able to, uh, to move to, from glory to glory and from faith to faith, not only spiritually, but practically in our lives. Uh, uh, he wants us to grow and to prosper so we can be a blessing to other people because there's a blessing of Abraham. Amen. 
that was not only rich in the spirit, he was rich in material things with houses and, and, and livestock and grain and these things that would become a source of blessings to those people that did not have much that God was putting in his life. And I believe that same idea is valid today because God will sustain you and he is our provider. But what more can we do in the kingdom of God if God increases our resources? These people in Squid Games got into a position where they were greed, they, 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 they were greedy, they were coveting other people's stuff. And that's what happens today. We get mad at people that are successful or that bl are blessed because we wish we had what they had. Amen. Instead of trusting God to bring us from being faithful over a little into great things. You know, uh, I didn't start up my first car. Uh, praise God. I didn't get a, I didn't get a, a car until I was out of the military. I was 20, 22, 23 years old when I got my first car, but God made me faithful over a little. Amen. Saving money, my little private. I think I was getting paid like $435 every two weeks. Amen. When I first started in the military and by the time I got out, I was making a lot more. But it didn't start off that way. And I was I was sending $200 every pay period home to my mother. Amen. And I was trying to be faithful over the stuff that God gave me. And when I got out, I was able to purchase a brand new car. Amen. And, uh, you know, I began working uh, as a janitor, you know, back in 1996 or so after I got out the medical field and, and, and began to really solidify something that I wanted to do for a long term. And it took me little by little, little by little, little by little. And I was able to invest in, 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 in my wife's dream and, and thank God, God answered our prayer. And now we are uh, business owners and, and, and God does things in increments seeing how what we're going to do with what he gives us and one of the things that hurt the people in the squid games is they were not faithful they were not faithful to their family they were not faithful to their gift they were not faithful to the to the to the to the little that god was giving them they they were always trying to get stuff the easy way and anything worth having is worth fighting for, but anything worth having normally comes with sacrifice, with time, amen? Even an oak tree takes time to become, that acorn takes time to become the oak tree because there's gotta be a germination period. There's gotta be a time of growth. There's gotta be a time of darkness. There's gotta be a time of watering. There's gotta be a time of blossom. There's gotta be time of, 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 of all these things together that makes it as strong as it is because we live in a world where moth and rust will corrupt amen and 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 we have to stand the test of time and the people in the squid games did not so i want to preach to you today on that on that point that that we cannot put all of our time energy and focus into those things that are temporary Amen. We need to be good and faithful servants over what God gives us. And we can't be caught up in this worldly motto of, of, of being a hustler. Amen. Hustling into the idea that you're trying to take shortcuts. Amen. There's no shortcut to heaven. Amen. There's no shortcut to the to the to the long-term things that God is trying to give you because remember he told Abraham that he gave making him a blessing to be a blessing to all people amen and and, and that's what God wants to do to, to to us he wants to give us a blessing so we'll be a blessing to all people and that type of blessing is not no little bitty blessing it's a blessing that cannot be contained in your, our finite mind and it's going to take our exercise in our faith, our obedience, our our stewardship, and our uh, willingness to surrender 
our lives to the Lord and, and walk out what God's trying to show us to do in those times so that when God gives us something, amen, it won't drown us, it won't kill us, amen, but it will be a tool that we can we can grow, we can give, we can we can uh, we can distribute in a way that's going to be pleasing to God. Amen. I pray that that blesses you. I had to, that was on my heart, and I just wanted to share it with you. I pray that you have a blessed and a terrific Tuesday, and to remember that he that endures to the end shall be saved. And I'm praying for healing, for deliverance, for power, wonder working power in your life and that you would prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospers in Jesus' name. Love you guys. God bless you. Peace.